informative. Since the beginning of Homo sapiens in Africa. Comedic. Uh, stop hitting me! Dramatic. Shane, there's a fire. Please get me out of the car and away from the fire. This is Poway High School's speech and debate team. And from the little classroom of D5, we're taking it all the way to the top, Cal State Fullerton. Of all the tournaments speech and debate enters during the school year, Fullerton is by far the biggest and the best, showcasing the talents of hundreds of students gathered from schools all over California. But before we can get anywhere, hopeful members of the team have to audition. Contrary to popular belief, speech and debate isn't all speeching and debating. The variety of events one can compete in include... From the, from the <laughs> duck, um, the rest of Impromptu, we are given a random subject and have to speak about it for five minutes without preparation. Lucy, what did you do? Ah, I washed little Ricky's clothes. I'm so bad about that. He was still in them. Duo, where two people perform a 10 minute act without being allowed to look at or interact with one another. During the cremation process. The process of an ecological funeral involves submerging the body in liquid nitrogen, which forms it into a powder. And expos, where a speaker must educate the audience on any topic of their choice using poster boards. Once the honorable judges have made their decisions and the rest of the members have cast their ballots, the list of final Fullerton contenders is sent out via email. Meet Mrs. McMillan and Frau Jens. This dynamic duo runs speech and debate, putting together their time and effort into organizing tournament trips. Yeah, I, I have a feeling um, we have tried to instill this year a, a greater sense of team and competition. We all meet early in the morning of January 5th in the pouring rain and head to Fullerton from the PHS parking lot. And once we've arrived, it's time to check into the Marriott. The tournament at Fullerton is set around a tight and sometimes unpredictable schedule. We're often left with lots of time to wait around, and wait some more. There are three regular rounds, meaning each entrant gives the presentation and is judged three times over Saturday and Sunday. In between rounds, we had a few hours to relax, prepare, go out to eat, or wander around in the drizzle for b-roll. Entrants, based on what event they're participating in, are separated into A and B groups and put on separate schedules. The rooms there to perform in, taking place at several buildings around the campus, are posted sometime before the beginning of each round. Of course, sometimes the postings were late, which left us with more waiting time. Unfortunately, speech and debate rules prevented us from actually filming the performances. But in the end, only Flora Wang and Nathan White made it to finals, leaving the rest of us to chill out around the campus. Finally, at 8.30, the award ceremony starts. Awards are given out for finalists and those who placed third, second, or first in their respective events. Out of our team, Flora won a plaque as a finalist for her impromptu, and Nathan won a shiny trophy for placing second in the persuasive speech category. By this time, we were all exhausted, so we snuck out of the ceremony early and headed for home. Speech and debate has returned to normal for now, and when the next tournament rolls around, we'll be ready to compete again.